we're here at Silverstone and we are in preparation for the WEC race. I'm uh, waking up in the morning a bit uh, nervous. You have to concentrate on what you're doing, you have to concentrate on driving, uh, push the limit. It's always a difficult job because, you know, racing is like reacting in seconds. Aston Martin is in front of us, the Ferrari is behind us and uh, I think it's going to be a tough battle. Here in England you have always uh, good fun, you know, they are crazy of uh, endurance racing. The amount of people, it's amazing here, it's uh, one of the best circuits you can go. We are in the second and third row of the GT section of the grid. The, the race setup was kind of a gamble, um, and hopefully the engineers gambled right and we have a good car for the race. First race with a new car, you are a little bit nervous because you don't know what will really be the performance for the race. Uh, the number 92 is, is running pretty well right now. Uh, I think they're in third place. Uh, unfortunately, we are, we are six and a couple laps down. I had straight away a big fight with the 71 Ferrari Kobayashi. The 71 car spun in front of me in Beckett's. Now more than five hours. Hopefully we can uh, finish the race like we, we had no mechanical problems. It's not a question of gambling, but uh, if you get nervous, it will be very difficult to feel what you can gain and what you can lose between staying on track or pitting. Motorsport is just my life. It's my passion. Um, I would do everything for it. It's easy for me to drive a car than walking, <laughs> you know? My personal relationship uh, with motorsport is very simple, yeah? I'm an engineer and we always try to do the best what we can do. So the next race in the WRC is going to be Spa-Francorchamps, that's the ultimate driver track and everybody loves to go there and me too, I'm really looking forward.